Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Monday, August 1st, 2016, and I am here at Spring Lake in Monmouth County, New Jersey. We've had a break in the hot weather. We had a bunch of big storms roll through over the weekend. Um, it dumped a lot of rain in the water, cooled off the water temperatures. The uh, sky's been cloudy all day, so we got a lingering low pressure system. Uh, all in all, the conditions are just about perfect for bass fishing. So hopefully the bass think it's as perfect as I do because I would sure love to meet some of them today. There we go. Little fish. Oh. Get back in there. Little fish to get things started. That was a big fish. That was at least a two pounder. Let's see if he'll come back and get it. No such luck. With buzz baits normally, you get one shot, and if you miss, you best move on to the next one. Oh, that was another miss. Wow, okay. Get a fish. Oh wow, he's really skinny. He's really skinny. You need to stop eating chatterbaits. Grab yourself a couple bluegill. I was using the buzz bait. And I got a few hits, but they were not really, not really getting it in their mouth. So I switched over to a chatterbait, which uh, throws off a ton of vibration, just like the buzzbait. But I can work it a little bit slower, and I was able to land that fish. Let's see if there's any more around here that want it. Well, the first thing I noticed when I got to this lake today. This water is really, really green. I mean super green. It's like pea soup green. Look at that. You can see, look at my lure just kind of disappear. Visibilities, it's maybe about a foot. And uh, that's because there's a tremendous amount of algae in the water, which means there's a lot of nutrients in the water. You know, nitrogen, phosphorus, stuff like that. And that can be good, but there can also be a tipping point where you get too much nutrients uh, and too much algae, which that'll just choke everything out. Um, right now, everything seems to be in pretty good shape. I mean, we caught fish today. I'm not noticing a lot of dead fish around the edge of the pond. Um, so it looks like everything's okay for now, but you know, there is that balance that needs to be maintained. Otherwise, this pond's gonna have a big problem in the future. A lot of these small park ponds, have fountains in them that run during the summer and in the summertime when the water gets warm and the dissolved oxygen levels go down it's always worth it to fish around the fountains because with the the water getting cycled like that it actually puts oxygen back in the water so if fish find that area they're going to gravitate towards it because it'll make them more comfortable There's a fish. Another smaller fish. Another scrawny fish. Wow. He's scrawny. He's got sores on him. I hope that's not a bad sign for this lake. Anyway, I made another lure change. I wasn't getting anything on the chatterbait, so I switched over to this uh, black and yellow spinnerbait. That fish was all over it. Not surprising, too. Looked like he hadn't eaten in weeks. Okay, well, it is getting dark, and I do have to get up for work tomorrow morning, so I'm going to call my day right here. Didn't do that great, 
only got three small fish um, but anytime you can come out after work for a few hours and catch a few fish and relax for a little bit that's a good day in my book but just so you know there are much bigger fish in here in fact why don't you guys take a look at what happened to me at this pond about a month ago when I was fishing there we go fish on Oh, that was a big one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm going to think about that one for a while. Tore the hell out of my chatterbait, too. That one looked like it could have been a four pounder. That was a really nice fish. Well, that sucked. But don't feel too bad for me because earlier this year when I was here on an after work trip, just like today, off camera, unfortunately, this happened. I didn't get a weight on this fish, but it was definitely over five, possibly even six and it ranks as possibly the biggest largemouth bass I've ever caught in the state of New Jersey. If not, it's definitely in the top three. So, there you go. The fish gods giveth and the fish gods taketh away. And when they're in a giving mood, you gotta be sure you're on the water with a fishing rod in your hand. So, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.